Okay, I hope I'm recording, because if not, it's going to be all for nothing. Alright, five things, plus or minus, uh, however many that I really like about the Moto Guzzi, the 2021 Moto Guzzi V7. The number one thing about this bike that uh, I like is the character absolutely this bike reaps of character um and i mean this might even just this uh, character could cover the entire package of why you would buy this bike from the way it looks to the motor to the way it feels <clears throat> and i know a lot of people don't like retro bikes but this bike has style from just the the lines of that fuel tank dipping down in the seat and coming off the back the way it does to the way that exhaust sweeps through and comes back up and just that really really almost like a black stainless steel eagle on the side of this bike and the v7 stone thing uh, it just looks so cool and i mean the way which i gotta clean this bike up too uh the way these cylinder heads stick out the transverse v-twin I mean, that just looks awesome. And even look, look at this, uh, I guess that'd be the crank cover. How they, they have this eagle etched in there. I mean, really detailed. That is, that is pretty wicked, dude, in a good way. And the way they, I think the 100 year anniversary sticker looks good on here. <clears throat> this bike yeah tons of character tons of style and I mean it's not just the looks neither the uh, going along with the character you got this motor I mean from the moment you turn that key and turn this motor on if it'll turn on let me see I guess maybe I'm not neutral okay yeah, when you turn this bike on and you feel that motor turn over, this bike feels significant. There, I mean, there's something different about it. When you ride other bikes, or at least when I have in the past, I get on them, I enjoy them, I like them, but they feel like toys. This, this feels like something solid. This feels like a machine, not a toy. It feels like something extremely significant and that's why i think you know lord willing uh, this will be a bike i hang on to maybe for the rest of my life i really i really enjoy the uh i really like the feel and character of this bike and i mean i know looks and style are subjective to people but the way this fuel tank even has these lines here and stuff is just really unique I really enjoy it <clears throat> but yeah maybe it goes along a lot of these points go along with the character but the number two thing this motor this motor is very unique in its character it feels extremely torquey it might not be a torque monster but it gives you torque like almost all the time especially from 3000 on i'm gonna say from 2500 on you can cruise this bike in the low revs and just take it easy if you want but above 5000 which i, I haven't broken in but i've test rode it and test rode other goozies as well from five on the bike will rip pretty good it, it it's not the fastest bike like a sports bike but it is not a slow bike it has plenty of pep to have fun and like i said 80 80 percent of people this bike is enough bike for about 80 percent of people out there probably there might be 20 to 10 percent like junk adrenaline junkies that all they care about are the numbers and you know just the horsepower top speed and for me i don't say you know it's 
it's not miles per hour that matters it's smiles per hour that matters as cheesy as that may sound but it, it's the truth yeah this motor I can I mean just significant has has a very unique it doesn't feel like a toy it feels like a machine from top to bottom this bike the way it was engineered feels like a machine it feels like the whole bike was engineered as one unit it doesn't feel like a bike that they took a bunch of parts and just threw it together when you ride several other bikes out there you'll you'll feel like that you'll feel like not that it's necessarily a bad bike but it doesn't the unit the whole entire package does not feel cohesive and when you ride this bike it feels cohesive it feels like everything goes together the way it's supposed to and I'll actually show you something cool I like about this bike the headlight this goes along with that character my first thing well I'll go ahead and say three so you see got character motor even though all these go together um, the the styling of this bike like I said just the silhouette of the shape of it uh, just every little thing on it actually I like this headlight housing as well at least actually those are solid uh, solid piece uh, headlight brackets too which are really nice and this is not for everybody but I like the eagle that they put into the headlight I think that is really cool you know and that you actually because a lot of used to America a lot of times they made you always have that low beam on so now but now you have the option to turn it off and uh, do the low beam and your high beam but then you got your DRL which I leave on because I just think that's so cool and something else that adds to the character of the motor that goes with the character and the motor and the style is just the air cool that it's an air cooled motor I mean the fins on the motor uh, it just helps in adding to that and gives it gives it real presence it's really unique um, yeah so that's I guess three things I like about it got your style or you got your character you got your motor got your style and something else I really like about this bike especially in this price point shaft drive <clears throat> no chain maintenance no messy chain garbage I get it you lose some power but I actually think the shaft on this bike it seems to have so much more of a direct feel when you get on the throttle it's not delayed and I don't know if it actually deals with the way this motor sits and the way that transmission shaft are set up but like I said this this bike just feels like a solid machine and it, it, it just the whole thing the motor the chassis everything complements the whole bike the whole bike works as one unit and it's awesome And I'm gonna say, uh, uh, which this can go with the motor, kind of, and the, like all, like I said, all these things I'm gonna list off go with the character and style and cohesiveness of this bike. This thing, I can tell you, when I ride this bike, this bike was produced with passion. Not that that's the thing I like about it, but I guess number four or five, whatever I'm on you don't have to go fast on this bike to enjoy it and it's not that this bike can't get up to speed and go 
you know what I'm saying? Which, I mean, I'm barely, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to go hard on it because I'm breaking it in. And, uh, but you can, I mean, this bike will roll, you know what I'm saying? It won't sports bike roll, but it will, it, it's got the quickness, the torque, and the power, decent power, more than enough for 80% of people that ride. Um, but yeah, you can have a lot of fun on this bike within the con the confinements of the law, and that's awesome, you know. I mean, within the confinements of the law, plus or minus 30 mile an hour, you can have a ton of fun on this bike. Some other bikes that I've hopped on, it, it just ain't the case. You can't, uh, you really got it. The only way to have fun on it is to wring the daylights out of it. And even doing that, sometimes it's it kind of, I don't know, puts you on edge a little bit when you're riding the machine. You're like waiting for it to break. And I don't feel like that when I'm on this bike. Like I feel like even when I'm taking it easy, I can feel the torque of this motor even though it might spec wise it might not have huge torque numbers but it has a very usable torque number at a very low rpm and it like i said it makes this bike have a very significant mechanical just very a solid like it just is solid machine feel to this bike But getting to point number five or six or wherever I'm at, this bike, the agility, this bike, I don't know what it weighs. I think it's around 480 and that might be full of fuel. This bike, I've never been on this road so I have no clue <laughs> what the turns are like. This bike is very agile. Yeah, I don't think the lean angle is like superb. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not like, you know, Indian Harley Cruiser bad. But uh, this bike is so easy to shift the weight on. Like, I mean, it is just easy. It takes no input. It, it just goes where you want it to go. Which is really nice, really fun, very enjoyable bike. But yeah, anyways, I enjoy almost every little thing about this bike. Right, don't do it, dog. I can't see. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm at what road I'm on but uh dude it's a small road it's smooth it's like I'm driving in the UK or something anywho overall this bike is this bike may be my favorite bike it really at, for right now anyways i don't know i'll hop on my other bike and say it's my favorite bike because i'll go back and forth between them i i, I like a lot of bikes <laughs> uh but this one this is probably the best all-round the most solid built filling machine that I have rode out of all the bikes I've rode. This is definitely, right now, this is the one. Absolutely, for sure. And this is a good bike. And I know they'll have some deals in the future. when they If they drop this price on this bike, because brand new, this bike was, you know, the MSRP is like 9000 or something. But 
when they drop the price, you know, have a deal on this bike in the future, or, you know, if you got the money, I would just get one, but. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. I don't know, so I'm probably gonna just turn around. Anyways, yeah, most best all around bike, in my opinion. Definitely the most all around, best all around bike out right now. Yeah, I'm gonna say pretty, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah. For 80% of people, at least. <clears throat> Yeah, but anyways, when it gets to, uh, uh, say I get caught up in just riding this bike, it's just enjoyable. And I, I feel like when you got this bike, you don't have to have friends. <laughs> you don't have to have friends to ride with, to talk and be like, oh, dude, you see me drag peg back there? Did you see me, you see that wheelie I rode for half a mile? You know, you ain't, you don't have to have that when you're riding this bike. It's, it's really neat. It's really it's a unique experience that I have not found in any other bike I've rode. Not none of them. Let's see, going up over the hump. Couldn't even see where I was going. But yeah, when they if they have a sale on this bike and they drop it down to eight, this bike is definitely worth eight grand. But you know there might be some. Sometimes Motogozi has some pretty good sales. And they'll drop this price down to 7500 maybe even 7000 if you're lucky. But as soon as they have a sale, because 9000 is a little bit pricey. Uh, but this bike, I think, is uh, considering the whole package, this bike is worth it for sure. But if, it, if they have a sale, then you'll be getting a, this bike is a steal for under nine if you can get it for that. place to stop so yeah I actually remember another thing which I'm not I know I'm moving so I can't really show it to you but um, one actually another thing number six or seven top things I like uh, about this bike the uh, I the seat and the, just the comfort the position the riding position and comfort of this bike I feel like I could ride this bike all day the seat is it's soft but not too soft like I've, I don't get uncomfortable. I've not gotten uncomfortable uncom on this bike yet. Which I say, you know, I've not been on huge rides yet. Maybe 40 minutes, you know. Yeah, it's not a touring bike as far as not having a windshield, but honestly, don't know if I'll ever get into that. Not that I wouldn't ride one, but to me, a bike is, you know, the open road and feeling the wind you know there's like a tank in the plane over there I'm gonna have to come back and get a picture because that's really neat you have a seat super comfortable a great ride I mean I'm 6'1 and I've I've had no problems on this bike with uh, uh the riding position, my legs, um, nothing. I'd say 
it's not bad but there might be just a tad of vibration but it's 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 also built into the character of this bike and it's very it's v-twin vibe it's not like unnecessary pathetic job buttoning everything down build quality on this bike because uh, that's not the case but just a little bit of vibes so i did i have ordered grip puppies but i like i have them on my other bike uh, on my smart pillin anyways uh i like the way they feel so i did order those but there's nothing wrong with these grips though the grips actually feel okay um but i'm too i'm probably a lot of times i'd say i probably grip too tight it's just i've always been like that uh i don't see how it's hard for me to even twist twist the throttle i'm a i'm more of a there's two types of people as far as the way we use our hands i don't even want to get into that debate but uh i grip things with my palm instead of my fingers and then there's some people that grip things with their fingers and not their palm you know and i've noticed that about people i'm one of those people that i grip with my palm and not my fingers i have a bigger hand than uh the length of my fingers or the size of my fingers or whatever <laughs> but uh yeah so so i tend to use for my fine movement motor skills i tend to use my palms more my whole hand instead of just my fingertips but anyways that's you know that's the majority of everything i like about this bike off the top of my head anyways i can think of but i absolutely love this bike perfect I've not, I've not rid a perfect bike, but this is probably one of the closest bikes I've ridden to perfect. Let me say that. So, yeah. Like, subscribe. i got a ton of videos planned for the future. Um, you know, I'll keep... And I'll, once I get this broke in, I'll try to take a good ride on it. Where you can actually see it, hear it do some hopefully once some products start coming out from this bike you know uh and companies get back to work and stuff uh i'll get it get me a new exhaust to get it put on this bike and then you'll really get to hear how good this bike sounds because that i there's no bike motor sound that really moves the soul like this one not in my not which all that is subjective but in my opinion this one has the best sound <clears throat> with an exhaust but anyways that's it biker believer that's all i got peace whoa you okay puppy oh shrug. if i wasn't in the curve man shrug. turn around and go back flash my lights y'all be careful there's a dog i hate that because I, I i love dogs <laughs> i'm a dog person <laughs> i don't want the dog looks so innocent <laughs>